Hi everyone, thank you for joining me to a new video by Original Video Reviews. As you can see, we have here a new package and as always, we're going to find out together what's inside and how to use this thing. So let's not waste any time. Let me grab the Swiss knife. Here is the Swiss knife and we're going to unpackage this thing. Well guys and girls, especially the girls, everything that you see here was included inside the package. We have here the VR Park virtual reality glasses. I'm gonna talk with you about them in a few moments, I just want to finish to tell you what was also included inside the package. We have here the user manual, one of them is in Asian language, doesn't say anything to me, the other one is in English. And as always I urge you to read the user manual, but I know that the majority of the people who are gonna buy these VR glasses are not gonna read the user manual, so I'm gonna do it for you. What I think you should know about this user manual is that it's not too informative. Uh, there's no QR code for these VR glasses, not in the user manual, not on the box, not on the VR glasses itself. And it's a big fault because you're supposed to be able to scan the QR code to identify the uh, model of the VR glasses. Another thing that I can tell you from the user manual that these VR glasses will fit every smartphone between 4 inches to 6 inches screen size. If you want to know the screen size of your smartphone or the smartphone that you're gonna try with these VR glasses, go to Google or Bing or any other search engine and insert the details of your smartphone and you will learn about the screen size of your smartphone. As for the weight of these VR glasses, they are quite light, they are 340 grams, not the lightest and this weight doesn't take in mind the uh, weight of your smartphone but it's considered quite okay. The guys that wrote this user manual also didn't mention anything about the field of view that you can have with these VR glasses but even if I did find the details about the VR Park VR glasses there's nothing like trying by yourself the VR glasses and learn about what I call the VR experience that they offer. Also included this uh, cloth and these wipes wet one and dry one to clean the lenses of these VR glasses and two little sponges. These little sponges, you're supposed to stick them inside the front panel so you will be able to adjust it to the size of your smartphone screen so it won't move when it's inserted inside the VR Park VR glasses. Let's take a look at the VR Park VR glasses. This is the front panel identical to the VR Park V3. In order to open it, you remove it like this. The material is quite a good material. It's made out of plastic, but it seems like a durable a material and I can tell you that this thing is not too heavy they weight only 340 grams not including your smartphone you have this magnet that is in charge of opening and closing this thing it seems like a reliable magnet on the left side and the right side you have these small windows which allows you to insert wires such as the charging wire and the wired headphones the front panel is removable if you want to remove it and then you can use your smartphone for AR augmented reality applications. In order to place your smartphone in the VR Park VR glasses you have to open this thing. You can see here that they have this sponge in order to press your smartphone so it will sit properly. There's also this black frame, uh, they call it EvaMat, which is supposed to stay inside the VR glasses if you have smartphone screen between 4 inches to 5 inches. I guess it's related to the boundaries and the VR experience that you're gonna have when this thing is placed inside. This is the back or the inside part of the VR Park VR glasses. They use this sponge in order to uh, pad the part between your face and the VR glasses itself. And I can tell you that me personally, I really like this type of material. On the top of the VR Park VR glasses you have this button, it goes back and forth and you have inside this little jog which you can move from side to side. This controls the lenses of the VR Park movement. This is the headband of the VR Park VR glasses, it's familiar from previous uh, VR glasses that I reviewed so far. Reliable one, simple one, it's connected in three different places. I can tell you that it's adjustable and you have this thing on the back, it's not supposed to bother you at all, it's supposed to be very convenient when you place it on your head. I can tell you that the VR Park VR glasses are almost the same as the VR Box 1 and the VR Box 2 which I reviewed in the past and the VR Park which I have here are almost identical to the VR Park V3 which I have here. 
The difference between these two VR glasses is the design, as you can see the front panel is a bit different. And the VR Park they weigh 340 grams, while the VR Park V3 weigh 360 grams. Other than that, they look the same, they have the same headband, they have the same button to control the lenses, they use the same padding sponge. So if you have any doubts about getting one of those two VR glasses, just get the one that costs less, that's all. Well guys and girls, especially the girls, I think I mentioned everything that is relevant about the VR Park VR glasses. If you still have any questions about this specific model, I recommend you to check the video reviews I made about the VR Box 1, VR Box 2 and the VR Park V3. If you still have any questions about the VR Park VR glasses, I recommend you to comment about this video and I will try to do my best to give you an answer about it. If you want to know what I think about the VR Park compared to other virtual reality glasses that I reviewed so far, I invite you to check the original video reviews ranking for virtual reality glasses, which I publish from time to time on the social networks. If this video review was helpful and you enjoyed watching it, I invite you to like this video. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel, Original Video Reviews. And there's the Facebook page and the Google Plus page and the Twitter account, so there are plenty of ways for you to follow Original Video Reviews. That's all for today, I would like to thank you for watching another great video by Original Video Reviews. Until next time, bye bye.